right, so we're talking about this horsing around sock pattern. And um, Sharon Miller has designed it, and uh, she did this cool little pattern in here that uh, she reminded her of a horseshoe. And we've had a few people that have asked exactly how that works, and so we're going to talk about that today. Socks are pretty cool. This sock is made from the cuff or the top and down. Some socks you knit from the toe up. And every time I do a sock and I do this heel flap and then put those extra stitches in there, I'm just always amazed at how it all goes together. It's just kind of a fun process. And I did not knit this sock. Sharon, uh, the designer, she actually knitted it and then has blocked it and has it here for us. And this is the spruce color. So this yarn is bamboo and wool blended together. And the bamboo does not accept the dye well. So our typical spruce color is like a spruce tree. It's blue and green, a blue green. Um, however, spruce on the bamboo looks a little more just like gray blue. So this yarn that I'm using, I just grabbed some off of the um, shelf and it is teal, teal in our, our Green River yarn. And um, it's your choice whether you want to do a magic loop like I am doing here or if you want to use the double point needles. Um, and you can, it's just whichever works best for you. And I would encourage you to whichever method that you're um, choosing to do, you find a video that talks about, about um, that method. So um, Sharon has three sizes, small, medium, and large. I've had lots of people say, you know, I have a, I have a longer foot. Can it be, um, the pattern be made uh, longer? That's certainly not a problem. As you see here, there's um, in the main body, there's uh, four rounds that make up a repeat. And so um, you can do those four rounds. If you have small feet, you could um, take, take out four rounds. Or if you have um, longer feet, you could add four rounds into what, what the directions say. So our pattern is um, we, we're working here and we have four stitches. So the first um, and this little cross here is what makes the pattern. And that is on the pattern where it says the horseshoe. Um, that when you get done with it, that's what makes this is that is that horseshoe part. So we, you'll see that in um, one row, uh, one set, you're doing this pattern on, you know, alternating. And then the, then the alternating row, you're going to be doing the, this part down here. So they, these are offset. As you can see, they're not, um, the horseshoes are not in line. And so that um, difference between round um, one and three is, is making that offset. So this pattern says you cast on how many ever stitches you want and uh, either 64 or 72. And then when you get to that horseshoe stitch, you work it over three stitches. You're going to pass the third stitch on the left needle to the right over the first two stitches, and then you're going to drop it. And then you knit one, yarn over, knit one. So how that looks is, and I have my um, magic loop system set up. So we're going to take the third stitch on the left needle, which is right here. We're going to pull it over these two stitches, the first two stitches. Then we're going to knit, then we're going to yarn over, knit, and then we purl. 
And that's how that works. It's very simple. Pull that third stitch over top of those two in front of it. And you, so you're decreasing a stitch here. And you knit, and then you're going to yarn over, which adds a stitch back in. So you're going to have the same stitch count that you had when you started with it. So that little loop here coming over, oops, and look at me, I just dropped a stitch, and I'm going to have to go pick that up. Okay, so, so again, we just take that, grab that third stitch on our left needle, we pull it over top of the two in front of it, that's decreasing. We knit, we add that stitch back in with a yarn over, and then the pattern calls for a purl stitch. So in effect, what we've this is what we've done is this little bit right here is when you loop, when you pass that third stitch over the two. And then um, you're separating them, adding that stitch back in. In between those, that's the purl stitch. So that is pretty much how it works. Very simple when you look at it. Then the next round you're going to um, knit three purl one, and you're going to do that all around. And then the third row, like I talked about before, these are offsets, so they're not all, you're not all even. So if um, on row, round one, I did this one on round, this slit passover, on round three, I'll be in this next column, I'll be passing over. And you'll do that same um, thing all the way to get over to the next columns. You're going to do uh, knit three, purl one, and then you'll do your horseshoe, the pass over, and then purl one, and then repeat. So that's, um, it, it's a lot less confusing than it sounds. So good luck. If you have any more questions, let us know. Thanks. <laughs>